You don't physically feel it, but it's going through your body. So imagine right here while we're talking, imagine in, in a stadium that's got 100,000 ball I mean 100,000 fans. Most of those people have cell phones, don't they? So can you imagine the frequencies that are going back and forth all over the place? You can't see them, but they're there, and they affect you mightily, and science has showed very negatively. But again, we understand science, for every action, there has to be an equal and opposite reaction. So if there's bad frequencies, there has to be good frequencies. Okay? This is just a cool muscle test, and this is just for fun. Okay? We needed a way, eight years ago, to show people how to do this, or how it worked out in the field. Okay? So we put together, my background is in kinesiology, so I put together these muscle tests, and then all these other people now you see in the mall and whatnot, they're doing the same muscle tests. This is just for fun. Ideally, it would be to bring this young man back to the lab and put in what's called a biodex machine. So we, we could test pounds pa uh, per, per square inch of torque power. Okay, we could put him on a balance board, and we could get a numeric value of his balance. And just to have fun right now, I'm going to show you this. Left or right arm strong? Okay, hold your right arm up. I'm going to take two fingers and press down. You resist me on three as strong as you can, okay? One, two, three. Okay, now relax. Now the cool thing with this, how many of y'all know about muscle testing? Okay. All you guys can do this. I'm not special. Okay, it's just asking the body questions and the body will respond. Okay, now I'm going to do nothing different but take one finger, apply less pressure, and take this cell phone and just put it up against his chest. Okay, same thing, everything you got. Now look, if you were holding anything back, I mean, I want you to, everything you got, okay? One finger on three, okay? One, two, three. <laughs> See, you've never seen this before. You don't know anything about muscle testing, but that's kind of scary, isn't it? Now, a lot of people say they weren't ready, okay? What's really cool, this is a pretty strong young man, but what's really cool when you get the strongest men in the world, okay, they can lift a 1,000 pounds, and I've done it to these guys. And, and I can pull on their arm, and they will physically lift me off the ground. And then I put a cell phone on them, and they fall like a little girl. Okay? It's sad because of the frequencies that are coming in and affect us. Now, second chance, okay? Everything you got. Okay, hold your arm up. One finger on three, okay? One, two, three. He'll never resist. Now the cool thing is I do nothing different, but I take the chip. And again, guys, this is just for fun. Ideally, put him on a biodex machine, do a double blind to see exactly what's going on. Now hold your arm up. Now, same thing with two fingers. One, two, three. Thank you. I'm doing some now. That's fine. Okay, here. So, what we have is frequencies. Okay? I gave all you guys some chips. Okay? If you'll take those chips out and look at them, um, what that is, guys, is a hologram. Okay? What a lot of people don't. Go ahead. What do you get? I'm sorry. What a lot of people don't understand about holograms is holograms are storage centers for information. Okay? This was a discovery by NASA. A lot of your laptops, a lot of your cell phones have holograms inside them, which allows them to store more magnet memory. Okay? So we took that discovery from NASA. Since this is a storage center for information, We've been able to take specific frequencies utilizing Tesla technology and Royal Raymond Wright technology, embed the holograms with the frequencies, and then just use acupuncture points to then resonate those frequencies throughout your body. Um, I want to go back because there's something I didn't do in the beginning, and, and I just realized I'll get in trouble. Um, I'm not a medical doctor. Um, I do not practice medicine without a license. Okay? Um, these things are here. Uh, to show you certain things, but again, I'm not a medical doctor, okay? Um, I like to tell people, don't believe the things I say, okay? Don't believe the things I say. Take them as a grain of salt, and then please, guys, go do your own research, okay? Go do your own research, okay? So what we have, these frequencies, does anybody have any pain in here at all? Knee, back, shoulder, elbow? You mind coming up real quick, sweetheart? And, and again, what we're doing right here uh, for pain, uh, this is just for fun. Ideally, would be to take a thermal image photo of her. Okay? Where's the worst pain in your body right now? Okay. When you move your knee, 
Scale of one to ten, how much discomfort? Uh, right now it's pretty low, but when I walk it's better. Okay, I want you to walk back and forth and one to ten give it a number. Okay. Ten being the worst. <laughs> I'd probably get to see it's about two right now. Oh, I'm That's sorry, you want me to be a ten, don't you? No, I want it to be a little bit worse, but two's I can go across my legs for a while, it'll be terrible. I won't be able to stand up. We'll, we'll, we'll play with the two. Does anybody have any other pain pain? Knee, back, shoulder, elbow? Any pain whatsoever? No? Let me um, pull. Can you pull your pet leg up? I can do that and get it to be about three. <laughs> well, what we're doing is acupuncture points without utilizing the needle, and I wish it was more of a. I can uh, give you a rest. Say it again. I can give you a rest if you want a rest instead of pain, or both. That's fine. Uh, well, we can do both. both. Yeah. Have to fix my knee. Okay. <laughs> All right. Show me where the pain is. It's right here. Okay. Again, guys, what we're doing is acupuncture without utilizing the needle, and I'm just going to take your pain. And just release it. Okay? Now I want you to walk back and forth. And you said it was a two a minute ago, right? Usually I like for it to be a five or six so they can really see. Okay? See, with the two is good. Yeah, that's why I was looking for a little bit harder. Let me, if you can have a seat, and come back to you. Can you come up, sir? One of the things I always like to do is a lot of people try to say this is mental. Okay, this is all in your mind. Okay, so I want you mentally right now to tell the pain to go away. Nothing different. I want you to point exactly where the discomfort is. Where is the most pain at the end of the muscle? Okay. And the other one? And was it in here too? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Here what? Yeah. And again, all we're doing is releasing the energy. Okay? Allowing the body to begin to heal itself without using drugs, without using chemicals, and without having surgery. Did I hear you say it works both on muscles and joints? So like as I walk, you can hear my knee pop, so does that? Yeah. It was, it was a four and a half minute ago, right? Yes, sir. Oh my god, it's going right down. Three. Two. This is falling yeah, off. It's falling off. I'm sorry, what was your question? I'm sorry. Well, so in, for instance, when I walk back and forth, my knee snaps. So I really don't know if it's a joint issue versus a muscle issue. Does it work either way because of the inflammation and through reusing it? Again, I'm not a medical doctor. I do not okay. practice medicine and license. But as soon as we put that chip on there, it's releasing the energy, increasing the blood flow, increasing the circulation. Okay? okay. Um, and then if you'll do some of the other things we'll talk about here a little bit later, I believe you can heal that. Okay? I believe it can heal itself. Okay? Um, these are the chips that we've had that we've given to all the athletes around the country um, to instantly improve their strength, to instantly improve their balance, their flexibility, and to help the pain. Okay? These are the chips that Hugh Jackson, Fuzzy Zeller, Fred Funk, uh, Ray Lewis, all these ball players begin to talk out about. And because of this, we've been banned by all those organizations. Uh, one of the other things they went after us with is called SWAT spray. Okay? How many of you guys have ever heard of HGH? Okay. HGH, human growth hormone. Okay. But a lot of people don't realize when they take synthetic HGH, it's converted by the liver, converted by the liver to IGF-1. Insulin-like growth factor. Okay. 
Insulin-like growth factor is what does everything to allow the body to repair, regrow, rejuvenate. Okay? We have deer that we harvest out of New Zealand. Their antlers are the fastest growing substance on planet Earth. Okay? Um, you guys can see this, and it's kind of gross, but if you look at my nails, um, you'll see how long my nails are. I do that to prove a point. Okay? This is four weeks. This was two weeks ago. I have to cut my nails every four weeks or they will grow like a weed. Okay? Because, again, they're repairing, regrowing, rejuvenating themselves. Okay? We have the deer that we harvest out of New Zealand. Their animals are the fastest growing substance on planet Earth. We're able to freeze dry that IGF-1, extract it out, and put it into a sublingual spray that you spray under your tongue that allows your body to get all the nutrients to rebuild, regrow, rejuvenate, but it's completely and totally natural. It's not synthetic. It's totally natural. And because of this, this is one of the main reasons why the NFL, the PGA Major League Baseball, has went after us. Okay? Because this is natural IGF-1. But synthetic IGF-1 is a banned substance by the league. Okay? The sad part to this is every training table in professional sports feeds their ball players milk and meat. Do you know that most all milk and meat here in America has bovine growth hormone in it? which is a synthetic form of IGF-1. So at the training table, every day, they're giving their athletes what they consider a banned substance. And then they're going to go after us and say they can't take a natural substance, which is complete total lack of education. Total lack of education, yes, sir? Are those the same professional athletes that we'll see on television saying milk is great for the diet? Yes, sir. Just a question. And, and that's one of the biggest things we went after uh, because, again, you got all these athletes that are endorsing milk right now. They're endorsing a banned substance because we know the milk that most of us want to drink that's all going on in California right now, they're knocking on everybody's door because you can't have unpasteurized, unhomogenized, grass-fed, free-range milk because, oh, my gosh, it's terrible. It's a banned substance. You know, they're, 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 did y'all know they're physically going to people's doors in California knocking on their doors? Ask them if they have raw milk. If you've got raw milk. Not if you've got guns or crack or cocaine or, or any of these other stuff. But do you have raw milk? I mean, it, 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 it's, it's absurd. It's crazy. But again, for us, it's been really fun because we realize what we're doing is right. Uh, we begin to realize that we're over the bullseye. You know, when I got involved with this many years ago, you know, I thought, my goodness, who can say anything bad about an organization that is trying to help athletes to compete without cheating? It's allowing athletes to compete without using drugs, without using chemicals, without having surgery. And now, we're banned by every major, major organization in, in, in professional sports. I mean, when it first started happening, I'm like, this is crazy. How can this be? And that's when I began to go down that rabbit hole and began to realize that you know, black is white, war is peace. And, and, and anytime they say they want these things done, they really don't. And, and that's what we, this has all led us to, to, to really wake up and realize what's going on. And, and I hope most of you guys have, have, have taken that, that red pill and, and have woken up to find out what's going on. Um, I think that's why you guys are here at the Health Freedom Expo. Um, this has been one of the best conferences I've been to, to be able to talk to people that actually listen and actually know some of what I'm talking about. Okay? The next thing I'm going to talk about is a, is a tablet that we have, which um, here in the next month or two you'll be reading a lot about because they're officially coming after us very, very hard. Uh, because nobody's ever done this, um, ever. And what we have right now um, in NFL football, and again, I keep going back to professional sports, okay? Why I keep doing that is because I try to find a way to get my information out to the masses. And unfortunately, I saw going after professional sports would get this message out faster. Okay, because again, when these athletes talk about this, the people listen. What we do is not just for these professional